This year, Henry will save a certain amount of his income and he will spend the rest. Next year, Henry will have no income, but for each dollar that he saves this year, he will have one plus R dollars available to spend. In terms of R, what fraction of his income should Henry save this year so that next year the amount he has available to spend will be equal to half the amount that he spends this year? Okay, a lot to keep track of here. So first of all, I'm going to call capital T the total income he has this year. That, that is the dollar amount that's actually going to be split up between what he saves and what he spends. Very important, I'm going to call X the fraction that he saves this year. That's, it. that's actually the thing that the question is looking for, so we're going to need to solve for X. We know that the amount that he saves, that's going to be that fraction times the total amount he earns, so that's going to be X times T. And if he saves X times T this year, then what he'll have available to spend next year will be X times T times this factor, 1 plus R. So that's what he'll be spending next year. If he saves X this year, then 1 minus X is how much he spends this year. And the amount he spends this year, 1 minus X times T. Where now we're told that the amount that he will spend next year, x times t times 1 plus r, equals half the amount that he spends this year. This is the equation we have to solve for x. Well, step number one, the t's cancel. Well, that's very convenient. Step number two is I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 to cancel this factor of 1 half. So I get 2x times 1 plus r equals 1 minus x. I'm going to distribute on this side. I get 2x plus 2xr equals 1 minus x. I'm going to add x to both sides so that all the x's are on the same side. So I get 3x plus 2xr equals 1. Now I'm going to factor out the x. So factoring out, I get 3 plus 2r in the parentheses. Now I just divide by those parentheses. x equals 1 over 3 plus 2r. And this is answer choice E.